It's hard to believe that just six weeks before this race, the car's driver, Andrew Hunt, was on life support in a Canberra hospital preparing to be transported to Royal Prince Alfred for his only real chance at survival. I think I'm very lucky in some respects and in other respects I think I'm the result of enormous skill and professionalism of the staff at RPA. I checked into the Canberra Hospital to have a, a small abscess strain. The operation went well, things were fine. Uh, I was talking to my wife after the operation, um, got up to, uh, to go to the bathrooms and collapsed. Andrew was unlucky in that after a relatively small operation, he got a massive pulmonary embolus. Basically a, a massive blood clot that came up from my leg and got uh, caught in my lung. And it basically put me into cardiac arrest. Heart stopped beating for 22 minutes. Um, things weren't good. There's no question he would have died without this. The Canberra crew wasted no time in calling for help. You have to have the most senior and experienced people making the decision and you have to do it quickly. The sophisticated ECMO machine devised at RPA took over the work of Andrew's heart and lungs, allowing him to be brought to Sydney and cared for by the elite team at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. My next recollection from that was waking up here eight days later in intensive care. Oh, terrified. And uh, the, the impact on the family would have been horrendous. I mean, I've got three girls and a wife. I, I think of the mess that it would have left them in. I'm a self-employed guy and, and it just would have been horrendous for Jan to uh, try and sort out. I often used to think how lucky we were that we just had this amazing life. We had never had any really big issues to deal with in life and I used to often think, I wonder if one day something's going to happen like that to us, you know? And it did. It did. So impressive was Andrew's recovery that he won that race six weeks after being declared clinically dead. Within weeks of leaving RPA, I was back on a racetrack and um, competitive. Did the doctors agree to you doing that? They said I was okay to drive a car. I just, I just didn't. Uh, I may not have elaborated on where I intended driving it and at what speed. Nobody at the track could believe it. You know, he actually got out of the race car with his walking stick. <laughs> 16 months on, life has never tasted more sweet. I certainly uh, appreciate the finer things in life a lot more now. Work uh, is not as important. I can't do all the things that I'd like to do, but I really don't dwell on that because I can do so much. And I haven't plateaued, I'm, I'm still improving. It's changed me in a lot of ways in that I don't take anything for granted anymore and I'm, um, I'm very conscious that the person that you might be sitting next to could be someone really special like Paul Torzillo or David Gattis. This is a great example of teamwork, great performance of the public health system, great performance of all the people involved. So he benefits from everybody's skills, from the ECMO technician to the nurse to the doctor to the retrieval team. In July, the whole family's off to Paris so we can spend a week in Paris together. It was Jan's idea, uh, in conjunction with the girls, that if we got out of this mess, um, that we would all head off to Paris and uh, spend a week there in an apartment and, you know, celebrate. I try and make it all count now. Mm -hmm.